For pizza gaina, which means a really chocked full pie, you want to start with a tablespoon of yeast in about one cup of warm water, just like I mixed it there. And that you want to set aside and let that proof, oh, for about five or ten minutes until it looks like that. And then you want to add another one and a half cups of water. So once you've got that done, well, then you have to do what the Italians do. You have to make a fontana. And that you do with your flour. So we're going to start out with about five and a half cups of flour. This may take a little bit more, depending on how much water the uh, flour will absorb. And to that, you want to add a little bit of salt, about a teaspoon or a teaspoon and a half. And mix the flour with the salt until it's well blended. And then make yourself a nice large well. Then you take your water and yeast mixture and put it right in the center, just like that. And now you have to work this by bringing the flour in from the inside. And sometimes, after this pie, this, the shell was made, the dough, these were formed into a variety of, of pans. My mother used a very large tube pan but you could also do this in a rectangular pan. Now, I know that that is not enough flour, so let me get some more out. That was about five cups. I think this is going to take about six cups. Now, I'm going to add just a little bit more flour. You know, it all depends on the kind of day you're working on as to how much flour you're going to have to add. If it's a very humid day, you're going to find that you may add more flour. Well, I would give that about five more minutes of kneading until it was where I wanted it. And then you want to put it into a greased bowl. So add a little bit of oil to a large bowl. Take the dough and wipe the bowl. Then turn it over and add a piece of saran wrap over the top. Put that off to the side. You want this to rise for about, oh, an hour or an hour and a half until it's doubled in size. All right, here is my risen dough. Isn't that beautiful? And now we want to take that out. So we want to punch that down, take it out onto a board. And now I want to use half of this. Look at how nice and light that is. We let that rise for about an hour and a half. So I just want to move this around just a little bit, do a little bit of kneading. It's very, very light. And now I'm going to cut that in half because I want to use half of this to line my pan. And you're going to be using half to line whatever size pan you're using. There. Now that's better. Roll out your dough to fit the size of the pan that you're using. You want this to be a little thicker than normal because it's going to house an awful lot of ingredients. So since I'm doing this in a springform pan, I'm going to make this in a round shape. And now when you do this, whatever type of pan you're doing this in, make sure that you roll the dough wide enough or long enough so that you can bring it up the sides of the pan. And then all I want to do is pick up this dough and put it right in there. And then I want to give this a little slack, just a little slack. I don't want a lot of air on the sides. And now you want to trim this all the way around. You're going to be adding another top layer of, of dough, so you don't need to have all this excess hanging on the sides. And again, you have options. We're going to start with some mozzarella, or something that's called fior di latte, because this is fresh cow's milk mozzarella. And if you were in Campania in southern Italy, you'd be having this made from milk of the water buffalo. Let me see how we're doing here on onions. All right, I think we've got to turn that off now. And those potatoes. I wish you could smell this with the vinegar. 
So there's our layer of cheese. Then we want some prosciutto. And here's our prosciutto crudo. And now the provolone goes on. This is also cow's milk cheese, but you could use other things. You could use fontina. And I'm going to put another slice just right there. Now you want total in this pie, oh, about nine layers, all filled up. And now we have to add some eggs to this. So here we have six eggs. And all I want to do is beat those up and add some Parmesan cheese, about a half a cup of <laughs> Parmesan cheese goes in there. I got a little on myself, but it's good luck. And some parsley. That's some Italian flat leaf parsley. Now this gets poured over the top. Isn't this beautiful? So you've rolled out that other piece. And here's mine. Here's my top. And I'm going to put it right over the pie now. It's very, very heavy now. So I'm going to take this off. I just left that there to keep that from getting too dry. Put that right, whoops, I missed. I missed. I guess I did. Put that right over the top. You see how easy that is to fix? No one's ever going to know. And cut off all this excess. Then you want to brush this with a little bit of egg right over the top because this is going to give this a wonderful shine as it's baking. And your oven is on about 375. So now you take a small piece of dough and you roll it out and you put it right on top to make a cross because this is symbolic, of course, of Easter. So that goes over the top and then you give that a little brushing of egg. And this you cover and put off to the side and let that rise for about, oh, 15 or 20 minutes. And the pizza gaina gets cooked in the top oven, oh, for about 35 to 45 minutes.